To create this design, I am going to add a circle with 16 words. Go to the top view. Shift D to duplicate this circle and move it along the X axis. And then scale it down in this way. After that, select these two circles and then join them. Apply the scale. Go to the edit mode, select everything and press F to fill the gap. Then use the insert operation. Give the proper thickness. Then use the insert operation and give the proper thickness. Then select this face loop and then delete them. Then select these faces with the shift select and delete them. Then select these edges and press F to fill the gap. Then select these edges and press F to fill the gap. Then select these edges and press F to fill the gap. Then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then use the knife tool, go to the vertex mode and create cut along the Y axis in this way. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. Then select these faces and use the insert operation. Then use the knife tool and create straight cut like this. And add two loop cuts. Then select everything and E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. Then Ctrl A, apply the scale, turn on the wireframe. Then select this outer edge loop and Ctrl B, add bevel on it. Add one segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then select this if loop and Ctrl B, add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel in this way. Select these faces, then use the insert operation and press Alt S to scale them along the normal and then extrude them along the Z axis. Then add a center loop cut, then snap 3D cursor to it, then set the origin to 3D cursor. And then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the Z axis. Dissolve all this edge loop, turn on the X ray mode, then select these edges and then delete them. Then select these edge loops and then right click breach edge loop. Dissolve all these edges and then take the symmetry. Select these edge loops and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Then hit the control 2 and add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. Turn on the extra mode, select these words and G and Z, move them along the Z axis. And then take the symmetry. Snap 3D cursor to the world origin and snap object to 3D cursor. Shift A, mesh and add a cube and move this cube along the Z axis. And take this cube here. Select these two objects and shift Q use the boolean operation difference. If you are facing this kind of difficulty, then you need to adjust the position of this cutter object. Delete the sub D modifier. Turn on the X ray mode, select these words, move them along the Z axis, select these words and move them along the X axis in this way. So you can get this kind of angle out there. Then select everything and move them along the Z axis in this way. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Now we need to create right topology here. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the Z axis. Then take the symmetry along the Y axis. Then dissolve these edges. Select these edge loops and Ctrl B add bevel on them in this way. Then use the knife tool and create cuts like this. Then create cut along the Y axis. Then select these faces. And use the insert operation. Use the insert operation one more time. And then merge these words. You need to dissolve this edge loop. And dissolve these edges. In this way. Use the knife tool and create one more cut like this. And then dissolve this edge. Then select this edge loop and Ctrl B add bevel on it. Shift factor should be 0.5 and add a 4 segment bevel in this way so you can create a smooth form. And then add loop cut like this. And then use the knife tool and create cut like this. And then just you need to adjust the position of the words a little bit. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry and adjust the position of the words. And then hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier. 
and share smooth it. There you go. In this way, you can create this kind of design. Turn on the matte cap view and the cavity. Shade the face orientation. You can see the design, you can see the form, and you can see the topology. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.